sweet Lou Pinella back here on the Rich Eisen Show. How are you, Lou? Rich, how are you doing? I'm better yeah, for... I look forward to uh, talking to you. Always. Right back at you, Lou. Um, I don't know if you saw last night in the uh, new Yankee Stadium, but there was some bat flipping after home runs going on with Carlos Gomez, the Houston Astros, and Joe Girardi is yelling at him from the dugout, and Gomez is yelling back at him in the dugout. And uh, everybody got out and sort of just danced around. There wasn't any sort of brawling happening, Lou. Could you relate to anything like this? Well, listen, those things really shouldn't happen. I mean, uh, first of all, uh, Houston, they were scoring runs at will, and uh, I'm at Gerard. We're going to take it. Hold on a minute. We're going to. There we go. Law, get on the phone there. Sounds like Lou's, like, censoring himself. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, because I think he's got the phone either pressed to his, uh, right. to the beard right there. But again, are you going to be, the law's, law's on it right now. <laughs> Just, I mean, <laughs> the things that happen on this show, man. <laughs> I'm going to call him back. You're gonna, gonna try him. Yeah, he thinks uh, it might just be a little malfunction going on with his phone. So okay. I'm going to call him right back. We'll have him in there's a, there's 30 a, There's a phone malfunction? A phone I malfunction. couldn't tell. By the way, another fantasy the way, football name. Everybody look at me. Lou Pinella's phone malfunction. No, 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 no. I think it's Lou Pinella's, uh, uh, um, tone, Lou Pinella's tone. What is it? Ring, ring. What Lou Pinella's it? malfunctioning phone. phone no, Lou's, Lou's phone buttons. <laughs> Lou Pinella's malfunctioning phone buttons. Just is that what it is? Just add, add it to the just list. Just add it to the list. What was the other one? Mike, <laughs> Mike Daltufo's Headshots. Mike Daltufo's Headshots. <laughs> it's the name of a future fantasy I'm taking team. taking that one. Oh, my Lord almighty. So, so Law is on it right now. Did you, is, you were good? Lou, you there? Sweet Lou, you there? I'm, I'm, I'm here, yeah. I don't know what's wrong with my uh, Apple phone here, but uh, it's been acting up a little bit. Well, I think I, I've dropped it too many times, Rich. Lou, if you want me to take you to the Genius Bar for an appointment, I'll do that for you, Okay. That's how much I I'll love tell you. you. What I'm not the I'm not the smartest guy in the world technology wise, but uh, uh, I think I've got the problem corral now. Okay. So, uh, yeah, talking talking last night. Uh, you know, Houston scored a, a ton of runs, and uh, I'm sure that uh, Girardi wasn't too pleased with that. Mm-hmm. And and then to compound the problem, like you said, uh, Gomez uh, flipping the bat and staring at the ball and so forth. Uh, there's really no need for that. Uh, just go out and uh, play ball and uh, don't show up uh, your opponents at all. That's one of the things that I insisted on when I uh, manage at the big league level. Uh, I used to tell my team all the time, look, you play to win, but you play the right way. Uh, You don't show up your opponents. And uh, I'll tell you, uh, uh, it it gets frustrating, especially uh, in the hot month of August, the dog day when, uh, and the Yankees have been struggling, Uh, you know, Houston or uh, uh, Toronto's pulled uh, a game ahead of them. So, uh, I'm sure there's a little cause for concern in the Bronx. Yeah, I know, and 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 the the, the bats have gone silent just in a way that they have here for uh, Don Mattingly, who you know very well, uh, being a manager of his uh, for your first job with the with the New York Yankees. When when somebody when a team just collectively slumps as a manager, what can you possibly do about it, Lou? Well, it, it it's a it's a hard situation, but uh, look, it all starts with pitching, so. What you need to do is, 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 is have your starting pitcher go out there and put some goose eggs on the board and, and take the pressure off the offense. I think what happens invariably uh, when you're struggling, uh, managers tend to get a little more conservative. And uh, what you really need to do in, in these type of situations is try to put together a few hit-and-run combinations, maybe uh, get a little speed in the lineup if you can so that you can uh, generate some cheap runs. But uh, the Yankees have been a home run hitting team all year. You know, Teixeira, uh, uh, Beltran, uh, Alex Rodriguez, uh, just to name a few. Uh, so, yeah, it's a tough situation. But I, I think that once we get through this really hot spell, uh, the month of August is a cruel month, not only for hitters, uh, also for pitchers. And uh, I think when the weather cools off a little bit here now in September, I, I think you'll see the Yankees. Start swinging the bats and, and, and playing much better. Again. Yeah, well, and in, in the case of Mattingly, at least if you say relying on pitching, I mean, Grinky and Kershaw are as good as they come right now in baseball. Who was the best pitcher you played behind, Lou, ever? Well, you know, I had uh, I had Randy Johnson uh, in Seattle, mm-hmm. and uh, Randy was uh, the ace of our staff. 
Uh, and as long as uh, I did my job as a manager, and that's to uh, keep them as fresh as possible. At the same time, uh, when we were way ahead of the ball game, I uh, shortened up his stint a little bit. Uh, this guy here uh, uh, was next to uh, unhittable. And talking about Randy, I was up in Cooperstown when he got inducted into the uh, Baseball Hall of Fame, and rightfully so. And it was uh, quite an honor for Randy and a thrill for me to uh, to be there uh, and, and be a small part of it. Lou Pinella joining me here on the Rich Eisen Show. What about playing behind? Who was the one that you, you know, you're out there in the outfield and you just knew that th this guy was going to win the baseball game? I, I would take a guess at it, but I, I would, would never. Say, I, would say, I would say two pitchers in New York uh, that were exceptional, and they were, uh, they gave you an opportunity to win uh, just about every time they went out there. Uh, you knew that uh, they were going to pitch a good ball game, be very consistent, and that's Ron Guidry. Mm -hmm. uh, that year that he had in 1978 when he won 25 and 3. Mm -hmm. uh, that was just a phenomenal to watch. And then the other one was uh, Catfish Hunter. Okay, Catfish was a pro. He'd give up a solo home run here and there, but uh, I'll tell you what, he stayed out of big innings, he knew how to pitch, and he competed like heck. And uh, those are the two that uh, that uh, I would say uh, are, are the ones that, uh, when I played, uh, were the big, big game pitchers. Uh, they uh, they uh, they knew how to pitch, they competed, and they had great stuff to go along with it. And then they pitched on good teams, which doesn't hurt. So if if now while we're hitting the wayback machine, I'm loving this. By the way, uh, who who was crazier, Charlie Finley or Steinbrenner? Which one's crazier? Lou? Well, you know, I didn't uh, I didn't uh, play for Charlie. Mm -hmm. uh, I played for George. George is crazy in a in a in a in the right way. Uh, he he basically uh, uh, willed his team to win. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, when you look at uh, these different organizations and the ones that have success, you can always point to ownership. Uh, and when the ownership is good, when the ownership is committed, when the ownership wants to win, it really helps uh, uh, the at the atmosphere and and the chemistry in that clubhouse. So uh, I, I I enjoy playing for George. I really did. I mean, he gave us every opportunity that uh, he could uh, to help us win. Uh, if we needed some help uh, down the stretch, he was always there to open up his pocketbook and, and help us out. And you know, we played uh, four World Series in about six years. Oh, and, yeah. uh, we won two and, and, and lost two, but uh, it was a really, really good stretch for us. And, and George was a big part of it. His leadership was uh, immense in our success. Yeah, and uh, Mattingly, uh, out here in Los Angeles, a lot of people have him on the hot seat, Lou. Do you think that's fair? Well, look, the, the amazing thing about it, uh, uh, it, it's a tough situation for Donnie. And the reason being, uh, they've got that huge, huge payroll. And the expectations are, are, are so great. Uh, I think Donnie's a good manager. Uh, I think Donnie is uh, uh, very consistent. Uh, he knows the game of baseball. Uh, he was a great player. Uh, you know, he's learning the ropes as, as a manager and, and getting better. Uh, look, all the, all the Dodgers have to do is hold on. And I know San Francisco uh, uh, is, is on their tail. But, uh, you know, uh, the Dodgers... Uh, with, their, with, 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 with a couple aces, you're going to get a few days off in September, so these guys are going to be pitching more often. Uh, I think the Dodgers are in a good situation right now. Uh, www.getusinshape.com. People can uh, donate right there, be part of Major League Body Systems diet and exercise program, get some autographed baseballs from you, and even uh, tee it up with you. Is that uh, how people... Yeah, that, that sounds good. It really does. You know, I've been on this baseball diet for uh, about a year now, a little over a year, and I've been able to maintain my weight, and it's a, a great way to uh, stay healthy. The, the, the food is fresh. Uh, uh, it, it, it's uh, tasty to eat. And, uh, you know, with this new program uh, on the skittisinshape.com, uh, you can compete uh, uh, with your... Uh, spouse you can compete with your uh, office employees you can compete with uh, spouses uh, whoever mm -hmm. uh, and and have some fun and at the same time stay healthy like i said uh, the, the the food is, is is really really good because you can pick what you want to eat and at the same time uh, it'll keep you healthy and uh, you can maintain your weight i've been able to do it uh, i had problems a little bit when i got out of baseball but mm -hmm. now uh, I've got it totally under control. 
Well, Lou, and and then uh, you know, playing golf with you, I'm sure you could spin a few yarns on on the uh, on the course as you as as you're going around. I, I do have to ask you about what I'm looking at on my computer screen right here because of what was going on with that little song and dance with Carlos Gomez and the Yankees and the Astros last night. I was going to ask you about the 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 toughest brawl you were ever in, but I, I I'm looking at it right here, May 20th, we 1976. We had a few with the Red Sox. Oh yeah, but there's one. <laughs> the Red one... Sox were were, were our, our 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 rivals. Uh, uh, Boston had uh, great teams uh, the years that uh, uh-huh. uh, I was there, uh, and and uh, we always competed very well against each other. And but Fisk is, a, Fisk is a, throwing a knockout brawls. Yeah, Fisk. I'm looking at right now. Fisk was going. He was throwing haymakers at you, Lou, just for coming and barreling. Well, you know, <laughs> Fisk is a competitor. He's a great player, and uh, I've got to know him a lot. Uh, after uh, the playing days are over, and I really like the guy. I, look, as a player, I, I admired him. I mean, uh, this guy could hit. He could hit for power. Uh, he called a good game. Basically, he was a leader of that Red Sox squad. Uh, but, boy, we, we always had uh, great battles. I remember the 78 uh, uh, when, when, when they were 14 games in front of us at the All-Star break, and we were able to mount that giant comeback and beat them in that exciting game and in Fenway, but uh, I'll tell you, uh, uh, I like Carlton. I really do. And, okay. and and he and Thurman didn't get along very well. No. Uh, there, there was a big rivalry between the two. But uh, listen, uh, when two teams are out there trying uh, their hearts out, trying to win baseball games, uh, a lot of things can happen. And in that particular case, uh, Dwight Evans uh, hit through a, a great strike to home plate. Uh on a fly ball to right field, I'm not the wasn't the fastest guy in the world, but uh, Dick Howser, the third base coach, sent me in, and I got there as the ball got there, and he just stuck the ball right in my face. I didn't like it, so we started a little rumble, and then we started throwing some punches. But listen, <laughs> I think the fans enjoy it. I think uh, the teams oh, enjoy yeah. it, and. Uh, Nobody really got hurt seriously, so oh, it's it was a good thing. No, Spaceman uh, apparently uh, separated his shoulder. Yeah, he one. did. You know, he and Nettles got into it over there uh, down the first baseline, and Nettles uh, 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 picked him up and, and body slammed him and he dislocated his shoulder a little bit. <laughs> Don't mess with Nettles. <laughs> hey, Lou, thanks for calling in. Can we get you back on in the playoffs, be like our, our playoff uh, analyst? Please, that? please. Uh, you know, the amazing thing about the uh, Major League Baseball is so much competitive balance. Uh, there's some really, really good teams out there. Uh, there's some great young players that are, are earning their strikes at, at the big league level, and it's going to be very exciting September. And I like the wild card situation because it gives two other teams an opportunity yep. uh, to get in. So I'm looking forward yeah, to I it. Look forward, I look forward to September. I, I watch baseball, uh, not religiously, but I watch it enough to know what's going on. And uh, I, I'm looking forward to a really, really good September uh, a competition. And, uh, and, and a good penetration. And then October. We'll chat soon, Lou. Thanks for calling in. You Appreciate got it. it. Thank you so much. You bet. God, uh, let's Lou Pinella. The Rich Eisen Show. Weekdays at noon Eastern. On Audience.